Hazing is illegal and justice needs to be served. It's time to man up, fellas, and be held accountable for your actions. New charges tonight in the death of a Penn State fraternity pledge. Investigators say they've recovered security camera video that had previously been deleted, and that footage is revealing shocking new details about what happened the night Timothy Piazza died. His dad going so far as to call it a cover up. A total of 17 fraternity members have been indicted, including 12 who are now facing charges for the very first time. Center County District Attorney Stacy Parks Miller says a fraternity member deleted video that captured the basement of the Beta Theta Pi House, but the FBI was able to recover the footage. People had asked us before, why would somebody delete that video if they did delete it? And we said that's what we wanted to know. Well, now we know because it contained criminal conduct. According to the DA, the video reveals that Timothy Piazza consumed 18 drinks over the span of an hour and 22 minutes. And Mr. Piazza, in the basement video, and even as far as going back to the gauntlet, never once obtained any of those drinks for himself. Brothers were coming up to him and giving him those drinks. Investigators say Piazza fell down the basement stairs around 11 p.m. the night of the party. But it wasn't until 12 hours later that Piazza, unresponsive, was taken to the hospital. The visions of him lying in a hospital bed, <sighs> battered and bruised, and on life support, looking as if he got hit by a tractor trailer, make no sense. Based on the new evidence, five fraternity members now face new charges of involuntary manslaughter. Piazza's father today calling it a cover-up. They claimed, we don't know what else happened other than what was seen in the upstairs video. And we don't know what happened in the basement. Guess what, guys? Now we know. Eleven of the 17 fraternity brothers indicted today are facing hazing charges.